you're not remembered, then you never existed, is one of the many quotes from anime that continues to inspire millions of fans worldwide. But in spite of decades of entertaining its viewers with humor, wisdom, and of course great pictures, some have been saying the art form is on the decline. Anime, the uniquely Japanese cartoon style mostly featured in manga comic books and videos, is one of the most popular forms of animated art, enjoyed by both children and adults alike. Anime fans get a chance to enjoy their favourite source of entertainment every single day of the year, with events and conventions all over the world. Some fans even see anime as a way of life. Uh, I could really go for a delicious pizza, but I'm also craving natto. Truly, this is a taste fan conundrum! With big, doe-like-eyed characters and sophisticated storylines, anime includes a vast range of genres, from action to horror, fantasy, comedy, and even history. Hordes of websites, YouTube channels, blogs, and books are devoted to the art. Oh, and no pressure, but you better impress me. Manga and anime have been around for many decades. The Japanese art saw a boom in the 90s, when it went from being a niche market to a mass phenomenon after the release of Pokemon. Hayao Miyazaki. Renowned director Hayao Miyazaki has taken the genre to a new level, Expected winning Academy an Awards and several prestigious international prizes for his animated films. Some argue that its popularity is declining, but fans believe anime is in better shape than ever. As anime character Horo once said, once you taste poison, you might as well finish the meal. Critics often say anime has outlived its reign, but has it? Our guest in the studio is Sutunch, an anime fanatic, blogger and writer based in Turkey. Hello. Hello. Uh, tell us what, when you first got introduced to anime and what first caught your imagination so much that you started a blog? Uh, I can't even remember when, when I started. I can't. Um, it's like like everybody, I guess. It's like with Sailor Moon and Pokemon and Digimon mm -hmm. and all this stuff. But really, when I got really into anime and manga stuff, maybe it's it's not that really long. It's been a few years that I, I really started to get into it, and it's like a, yeah, it's it's something contagious. So I couldn't stop it, and I'm really going and going. What would you say about the popularity of anime in Turkey? It's really popular. I would say that it is really, really, really popular, especially among teenagers, probably. Right. Yeah, among like 15 year old, years old, 18 years old people. It's really popular. Which, which kind of leads into my next question. You said teenagers mm -hmm. like it. Um, anime fans take anime very, very seriously, yeah. and they'll be the first to tell you that these are not cartoons. So um, what would you say about the demographic that follows anime? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I will say that. It's, it's not an accurate, accurate comparison to compare to anime and cartoons. It's right. ca cartoons are just like for kids. But mm -hmm. anime, it's for everyone, it's everybody. Like, it's better to say that animation movies and series to compare and anime, it's, that would be better. Um, it's not declining. When, when you grow older, it's not declining, but there's a huge... I mean, I can imagine somebody older saying, well, you know, like, yeah, for yeah, example, yeah, yeah, somebody yeah, who's yeah. a fan, who's now mm -hmm. 50, has kids, saying... Yeah, but I, I think the problem is when you are children, it's televised. You know, the right. uh, Digimon, Pokemon, these these are more shonen manga, anime that we call it mm -hmm. in Japanese genre. Uh, they are televised and they are so they are dubbed in Turkish or in in other, in other language. But when you grow older, this uh, this dub thing it it finishes, and after that you have to read it in Japanese or English. Right. So. If you cannot speak English, if, if you cannot read in English, they, they just lose their interest in it because they cannot, uh, there's no really good translations. There, there are no really good translations in Turkey either. So they are just losing their interest. But they are, I can't say that all of them. Yeah, it declines, but not really much because there are lots of anime for adults and adults keep, like me, keep watching. <laughs> like yourself. 
What would you say makes anime different from Western animation? Uh, for say that, I have to go back to the manga, the mm -hmm. comics, Japanese comics, and Western comics like mm -hmm. DC and Marvel. The difference starts with that, like in 50 years ago. Uh, they they started. They have manga. When, when when we say manga, we really imagine you know big eyes and all this stuff. And the symbol symbols in manga is different. No more Asian cultural symbols. They have it. And comics, DC, Marvel, Western comics are different too. So anime. The word of anime comes from a. It's a Western word. Anime, animation, it comes from animation. Right. But manga is Japanese, manga is Asian. So adaptation of this animation and manga, anime, they they started to differentiate between them like in 15, 15 years with right. manga and comics. Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, do you think um, a lot of critics are saying that uh, animes have uh, reached the end of their most popular time? Would you agree? Mm. No, because it's shaping, it's getting different, right. it's, it, it's improving itself. Yeah, there are lots of problems with, especially Hideaki Anno, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, he critiqued that, he said that in 20 years, anime, this anime, animation, anime world will outline, will be totally outline. And everybody was like, how, how could that be possible? But of course, uh, it's because we can call Japanese people really traditional people, conservative about their traditions. So they, mm -hmm. they don't want to get really international. For example, it's a ra if a Russian pe person wants to do manga, he cannot, she, they cannot find any work, job in Japanese section, Japanese studios. That's the reason. So uh, Japanese people, they are getting older. So <laughs> that's why uh, they have to go more internationally and they are changing too. The studios, anime studios, they are going more internationally, and it's not going to decline, but it is going to change itself. For example, there is a anime really went internationally well known, One Punch Man, called One Punch Man, and it is, for example, it's about a Western st style a superhero, but they are critic and they are making fun of this Western hero superhero cliches, and it went really, really, right. really known in between people. So, uh, so the traditionals, traditionalists in Japan are a little bit against it becoming so popular. I mean, exactly, I exactly. See. That's why, for example, Ghost in the Shell. It's mm -hmm. a, it's a Japanese. Dream anime, mm -hmm. really known Japanese anime, but date back to 1994. And we, there, Hollywood is going to make an adaptation next year with Scarlett Johansson. And Japanese people went really crazy because they say that Scarlett Johansson, she is a Caucasian people. It's not possible. She did. Yeah, the main role, the lead role should be uh, Asian people too. So they have really contradictive opinions, but I think it's going to change. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Sutunj. Thank you very much, too.